That game becomes all the more interesting. Let's head inside Pizza Hut Stadium and get this one underway. Joke has already run through books. Quick work. He went through Voltrax. Quick work. Gale Sayers has been the answer. He's got seven touchdowns on the day. But we're going to be starting off with that Joke defense, which has bottled up both a passer in books and a runner in Volt. He should be prepared to take on the Madden 19 club champion, Pavin who has uh, felt his own share of pressure having to qualify through the last chance qualifier. Here we go. It is Pavin on offense first. The familiar gun bunch formation for the 19-year-old. As Holt comes in motion from right to left, it's Michael Vick, the lefty. Rolling out left side, looking down the field. He's got a crosser, and that crosser, you can't spell cross without Ross. John Ross with the catch. There's that John Ross, and Joe talked about this early. He had success versus Boogs because Boogs doesn't have any abilities on his receivers. Pavin definitely has abilities on his receivers. He has that cross specialist on John Ross, and you saw it there. He ran the crossing route, burned the man-to-man, -man, got a wide-open first play. Huge play for Pavin to start this game. Yeah, he burned that man-to-man. -man. He ran a 4 2, -2 40 at the Combine. One of the fast, actually the fastest ever at the NFL Combine, breaking Chris Johnson's 4-2-40 record. 4-2-4-4. It's a quick throw oh to the slot. God. Oh, that's Jerome Baker with one hand. Some guys use two hands to pick the ball off, and Jerome Baker has just put a touchdown on the board, and he only needed one. The defensive mastermind, Radel Brito, a.k.a. Choke, with a huge pick six to start the game and takes the lead 7-0. Wow. The lurk goes to work. And how about Jerome Baker just sticking out one hand and says, give me that. Two plays in. We got a touchdown, unfortunately, for Pavin, who started off with the ball. He's not the one who put the touchdown on the board. As we take a look at our Snickers replay TD, it was just a straight-up user lurk. Just a nasty lurk with that Jerome Baker. And Joke said VY get, told him about that Jerome Baker. Shout out to his boy. And he comes up with a huge play in this tournament for him. Great defense. What a start for Joke. It always takes such a, 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 a weight off your chest when you're able to start with a defensive touchdown. The offense hasn't even seen the field. And Joke has a 7-0 lead. Vic on first and 10, rolling out left. And he'll have to throw this one away. Uh, TD, listen, Gail Sayers was putting up the big numbers for Joke, but, man, how impressive has his defense been all day long? Man, that Jerome Baker has been doing everything for him. He just had him in a spy right there, able to uh, track down Vic. So Jerome Baker doing everything for him, just playing great defense as Pavin goes. A little whip route right there, getting some yards back. A little whip route to Torrey Holt, the seven-time Pro Bowler with the catch third and three for Michael Vick and Pavin's offense. Looking to put a touchdown for his own team on the board. He's got a wheel round up the sidelines. He'll find Holt over the middle. And we saw this in the LCQ TD. Pavin and Torrey Holt, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, without a doubt. That Torrey Holt in the slot is so crucial for Pavin. He's got playmaker on. He's got so many abilities. As you saw right there, that playmaker ability allowed that route to kind of come back to the, to the left side. That's what the playmaker does, and he's able to convert. He looked like he had that wheel route down the sideline as well, but he takes that playmaker route. Screamer off the edge. We saw this a couple times in the first two games. Marshawn Lattimore comes off the edge and brings down Michael Vick. He may have over 6,000 rushing yards, but he didn't even have a chance to get out of the pocket. Second and 16 for Vick. This time only a three-man rush. As he'll look underneath, he'll find Torrey Holt. Ty, I've, I've been so impressed with how Joke has mixed up his defensive looks. You just never know how many players are coming on the blitz. Yeah, he really disguises coverage as well. And that's the one thing. When you play defense at a competitive level, you want to disguise everything. Make everything look the same, but sometimes send three, sometimes send seven. Joke does that brilliantly. And uh, his secondary is built so good. He has the best, fastest players in his secondary, and it's been huge for him. Over the middle of the field, that's Josh Cram speaking of speed. The former Kent State Golden Flash showing some flash of athleticism with a diving catch of the 26. Oh, I did catch it. Great dot right there with that deep post. Joke was in a cover two look. That deep post, one of the best cover two beaters in Madden, right up the middle. Pavin upset. He thinks if he would have racked, caught that, he would have had a bigger play, maybe even a touchdown. He ended up possession catching it, and uh, but still a big play nonetheless. And now he's in business at the 26-yard line. Here comes Vic, and there's the screamer off the edge, and down goes Vic. Three straight drives. Joke has started with a sack on first down. Pavin's been able to deal with it so far as he's at the 33-yard line. Quickly back to the line on second and 17. 
And Vic dropping back to pass only a three-man rush and looking to the corner out to John Ross and he did not get the feet in bounds. It's going to be a third and long. Yeah, can't get his feet in bounds. And like you said earlier, Nick, uh, Joke doing a great job mixing up his coverages. He brought the blitz there on uh, first down, then second down there, only rush three. I think he might see him bring the heat here. Let's see what Pop if Pavin can pick it up. He's got to get, he's in field goal range, so he doesn't want to take a big sack here. Big dropping back. It's pressure. It's picked up nicely, though. Oh, he might have had the corner out there. Instead, he takes off with Vic, picks up five, and will settle for three to cut into this lead. Yeah, smart play by Pavin. It looked like he kind of had a couple routes there, but they were a little bit risky, and he didn't want to make any bad decisions, able to just get out of bounds, take his three, and get back on defense. I'm still amazed by that pick. That wasn't the best read, but he went on. Again, the last time these two met was in the Madden 19 Club Championship quarterfinal. Joke and Pavin, of course, three-time club champions. Joke representing the Browns. Pavin representing the Raiders. 26-14, Pavin took down Joke in that quarterfinal. Right now, Joke with the 7-3 lead. Here in the first quarter, TD, it's, uh, I, I'm, I would like to uh, ask you, do you think Gale Sayers is going to get a couple carries? <laughs> I think he's going to get every carry since this, since he's using a punter at quarterback. Shout out to Tress Way at quarterback. But, Nick, to your point, we talked to Joke, and he said his biggest game in this group, you know, he thought he could beat every opponent, but his biggest game was he wanted revenge versus Pavin. He lost to Pavin last year in the Madden 19 Club Championship. Of course, Pavin went on to win that 100000 win the belt. So, Joke looking for revenge in this big game. Hey, he said he, he felt like... That was a game he had control of, and Pavin got incredibly lucky. And, you know, Ty, as a, as a pro player, when you hear somebody say, well, he got really lucky against me, does that light your fire a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it can. Uh, you, it's going to happen to Madden. Everyone's going to kind of get lucky. You just got to kind of uh, – and when it, when it happens where you lose the game, that's when it really hurts. But you got you to gotta bounce back no matter what. And we'll see what Joe can do on his first drive here. A little halfback dive, Gail Sayers. That's going to be four yards. It's the run to the left side. Picks up four. Gail Sayers, we've seen it, Ty. He, uh, he, he seems to get tough yards. And, and sometimes it's an easy touchdown. We've seen the offensive line open up some, some gaps in the defense where he goes untouched. But it's those other runs where he's able to pick up four, five, or six. That is so impressive. Uh, Pavin so says, how about you lose a couple? Yeah, so this is where it gets really oh, interesting man, now, guys, man. because look, Pavin is in that 3-3-5 wide, which is the best run D without a doubt at this point in the year. But, like we were talking about earlier, those those nasty streaks at receiver can pancake the DBs in this nickel 3-3-5 wide, specifically the slot corner. So it's really a chess match right now. What's, who's going to get advantage? Is it going to be the pancakers or is it going to be the defense? And so far, Pavin looks good. Uh, and you remember last year, Ty, watching Pavin at the club championships, I mean, he really, I don't want to say revolutionized the defense, but running that 3-3-5, that loop defense, it's what everybody was running when it came Madden Bowl time last year. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And big defensive stand right there by Pavin. Uh, you know, what, what a good matchup so far. Let's see what Pavin can do on offense. I'm very impressed with Pavin on defense right there. Had, had that 3-3-5 wide defense looking really good versus Joke's uh, heavy run attack. Yeah, so far, Joke, who was so dominant in the first two games, has been bottled up a little bit to begin this one. Plenty of time left as we're just into the second quarter. Vic outside the pocket. He's waiting for that crosser to get over there, but it was a nice use of a spy by Joke, not letting Mike Vic get outside. Yeah, Pavin's actually doing something very uh, interesting. He's So he's coming out in bunch. He puts his receiver on the bunch side in the post, then flips it. So he has a nice crosser coming from the solo side. We saw that a lot last year, or actually a couple years ago. Michael Skimbo actually won the Classic last year, doing that same route combo out of the Pat Sale play in bunch. Pavin creating that, because it's not in the game this year, but he's creating that with his hot route master. Madden 19, Madden 20, so different games. What you saw last year, Man, it looks like a, a totally different franchise this year with the addition of X-Factor abilities. First down and 10 for Pavin. As Torrey Holt goes in motion to the right side. Three-man rush from Joke. Nice pickup on the blitz. The halfback with a little cut block and allows Mike Vick to escape the pocket and throw that one away. Yeah, good defense right there by Joke. 
I really like what Poppin's doing though. He's not like when we saw Joke play Boogs, Boogs kind of stayed with the same play or two plays all game. Joke was all over it. Poppin kind of mixing up his play calls and, you know, risky pass right there, but he, he looks pretty decent on offense. This group, one of the more unique groups as you look through the 16 player field. Two runners and two passers, and neither of them really balanced at all. Pavin and Boogs almost exclusively passing the ball. Joke and Volt, well, they've yet to put the ball in the air, so it's battle of styles here in Group A. Third and four into yeah. the corner. Yeah. That's dangerous because Denzel Ward's over there, and you don't throw into the Ward's Ward. It's a turnover once again for Joke. Great ah, user pick it. by Joke. Very risky pass by Pavan. He should not have thrown that. Looked like he might have had the post over the top. And Joke with a huge pick. And here we go. Back to Gale Sayers. Here goes Gale right side. Nice shoestring tackle to pick up four. How frustrating has it got to be for Pavan after getting a defensive stop on Joke and forcing a three and out to turn the ball right back over? Yeah, Pava, not a guy that usually makes a lot of mistakes, but so far in this game, two picks already. That first one, obviously, the pick six. And there, you know, a big pick right there. It was kind of a dagger. He had a decent drive going. He had the momentum, and Joke's defense came out strong. And, you know, to, to your point, Nick, earlier about this group, all four of these guys, these are must-win games. That, that's the beauty of this group right now. Oh, nice defense right there. Oh, my God, man. If I play some good offense this game. Yeah, I mean, welcome to group play. As, as James Coe mentioned, that's the great part of group play is, you know, we, we saw in the Madden Challenge, Noah started out in his group one and two, but he made it out. He got to the wild card game, and he ended up winning the belt. So it, it all, every game matters in the round robin format. Oh, a thousand percent. Getting that buy is huge. Um, but also, you know, if you get in the wild card round, you kind of can play an extra game. You kind of get more momentum. So obviously, you want that buy. But sometimes, like we saw with Noah in the challenge, getting that mo momentum coming from a wild card game can be beneficial too. As once again, Pavin's defense standing tall and forcing Joke into another on, punt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. First time we've seen Joke's offense not really work and. You know, I did wonder, uh, you know, talking about Pavin qualifying for the LCQ, how much of a benefit, uh, as you mentioned, playing the wild card game to get you some, some reps, how much of a benefit do you think it is for Pavin having to go through the LCQ grind to get here late in the MCS season? I'm sure he didn't want to be in that position, but once he got there, he took, he made the most out of it. He, you know, he said, okay, I got this opportunity. I'm going to try to win. He did. He got the momentum. So looking back, you know, it, it, you know, it looks like it was a great idea, but I'm sure he didn't want that, but it ended up working out for him. Oh my God, I'm catching him. And don't forget Pavin's lone top finish in a major this year was at the clubs, another salary cap tournament. He took fifth oh. as Vic gets sacked on back-to-back -back plays. This time it's prime time in the backfield. Man, and that Frank Clark was just coming untouched up the middle. That Frank Clark power specials is insane, and then Dion's able to clean it up on the outside, and now Pavin looks like he's happy just running this clock out, going to the half down four. Well, here he goes outside of the pocket. Playmakering up the field, but no one's there. He'll slide down inbounds, force Joke to take that timeout. And that's a heady play from Pavin at 19 year old. Uh, Ty, it almost feels like he's a veteran already. Yeah, Pavin plays very mature for his age. He always plays usually conservative. I mean, this game he kind of threw those two bad picks. But usually Pavin's very in control of himself, knows what he's doing. He's got to get a good punt here because you don't want to give Joke any time before the half. Well, they let Sanders. Receive it, gets to the 46-yard line. Five seconds on the clock, an opportunity for a run. You can hear Pavin saying, Ty, he is 100% blaming himself. Two bad picks in the first half. Yeah, definitely. That's very uncharacteristic of Pavin. And right here, Joke is going to try to get busy. He's got one chance. Can he pull out his inner Volterax, get jiggy with it, and make something happen? He's already up 7-3. Franco Harris split out to the left. He's going to give it to Sayers, who runs into Harris. And that slowed him up, and that will take us to zeros on the clock. 7-3, the score in this one. And what a surprising okay. first half here in this final game of Group A play. Ty, are you surprised at how this has gone? So yeah, I mean, kind of a defensive struggle, but the game has kind of been played into Joke's hands, which he likes. And both guys have been impressive on defense, though. 
Guys, make sure you head over to the Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube for access to each and every match from the Madden NFL 20 Bowl, as well as every match from this Madden Championship Series season. Make sure to subscribe as we update throughout the week during group play at the Bowl. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel is the official home for VODs of all the best matches, including that Voltrax Books game going on here throughout the year. That's where Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube, that is where Madden Competitive lives. So make sure you hit that subscribe button over there, guys, because you're going to want to keep up on all the action. We've got a good one here between Joke and Pavin. It is defense being the story. Joke forcing two turnovers, but Pavin staying in this game, Stopping that rushing attack, it is 7-3 at the half tie. It's weird, Joke has the lead, but you do wonder, man, if Pavin didn't throw either one of those picks, you feel like he'd be in control. Yeah, you nailed it on the head, Nick. I think Pavin, with those two big turnovers, being still in the game, only down four, is a huge benefit for him. I feel like he could this game could have got blown open by Joke, but Pavin staying alive. It's like one of the Bee Gees. Ah, uh ah, -uh, staying alive, staying alive. So that marks the first time <laughs> in the history of any broadcast that there has been a Roddy Rich reference followed by a Bee Gees reference. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> they tell you don't, don't try to delve into my mind, man. It's not pretty. It's a, it's a jumbled mess in there. As a, how about Pavin, by the way, with the shank to start this second half and giving Joe great field position. Yeah, mental mistake right there by Pavin. Joke almost in field goal range here. He has the best kicker in the game, Zane Gonzalez. So he only needs about 5, 10 yards, and he's in field goal range. Like right now, I think he's in field goal range. So mental mistake by Pavin to start this second half. How about Franco Harris with the carry there, the 1976 NFL Man of the Year, Pittsburgh Steeler legend. And you got to love the build that Joke has gone with. For running the ball, he has the opportunity to sub in Franco Harris to take some of the load. When Sayers is plagued by fatigue. Right there, that was Ed Reed shooting the gap and bringing out Sayers once again in the backfield. Ty, I think this is the most I've seen Gail Sayers get tackled in the backfield more than the first two games combined. Yeah, great defense by Pavin right there. Coming free with the linebacker. Now third and nine, joking to go with the zone weak. And great defense again. And you can see Joke, the frustration building. As he's going to be forced to punt this one away. So let's talk about this. 7-3 the score right now. Joke's offense has put up zero points in this game. The only touchdown being a pick six as Pop will get the ball at the 11-yard line. Man, Joke was in field goal range, too, at the 42, and he took that big loss. So, you know, this hasn't been the prettiest game from either guy. Both guys kind of making mental mistakes. I'm, You know, I'm disappointed in both guys, but someone's got to take advantage. Someone's got to get something going here. There's Torrey Hold over the middle. Missed tackle, and Hold will get up to the 35-yard line. That 9 of 14, 157 passing the ball for Pavin, and a lot of it to Torrey Holt. With those abilities showing off the versatility in the slot. is on first and ten. Vic dropping back. Outside of the pocket. Looks underneath. There. Finds John Ross. He'll pick up two. Yeah, nice little play right there. Motions over that drag. So he has a flood concept coming to, the, to that bunch side. Then he has a backside deep post. Um, but let's see. Oh, what happened here? Joke called timeout. So that could be a crucial timeout yeah, well, later in the game. Big timeout right there by Joke. Yeah, Pavin, you know, he, he actually called the play to get Joke to call timeout. He told him to call timeout because he came out in that near formation, and Joke was not prepared for that. How many is one of those precious second-half timeouts? Second and eight pressure. Nice low pass. It's said inaccurate, but that looked like a pretty good dot to Torrey Holt. Yeah, beautiful play. There's that popular route combo we see all the time with that crossing route and then the slant coming from the other side. Pavin goes to it again. I love the way he's switching up his plays here. Holt 10th all time in receiving yards, and he is the key to Pavin's offense. John Ross gets absolutely lit up by Jerome Baker, and you see him staring him down saying, I still held on to that catch. Yeah, Pavin with some of the best vision. You know, Joe kind of bit down on that whip rod just for a second, and Pavin recognized that through the post behind him. Great read, great dot by Pavin. Vic in trouble, oh, that's and that's right. what Michael Vic. You see the fist pump from Pavin, knowing he made the right choice at quarterback, avoiding the sack and forcing a second and ten. 
Joke's D-line is insane. Those guys are coming through so fast. Only a three-man rush right there. He's able to get through. Pavin lucky to be able to throw that away. And it's why you have escapability at quarterback. Second down and 10. This low-scoring defensive affair. Shout out to everybody who's been hanging out with us. Make sure you tune back in tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern time, for more action. That's a dangerous throw. Reed almost got over there. A little, a little risky for the Madden 19 club champion. Looks like he had the streak right behind him. Uh, if he would have passed lead to the outside, Joe kind of brought all the heat right there. Everything was open. Pavin, uh, you know, didn't really see it through underneath. And now a big third and four. Wow. Joke, this is the first time we've seen Joke got really frustrated on the ropes. It's been such an easy those ride for him so far. It was so valuable. Yeah, Nick, those timeouts are be huge. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I don't see Joke laying down on the bed in this game. It's third and four, and Joke, the pressure gets home. It was Marshawn Lattimore <laughs> around the corner, and once again, Pavin with a nice drive, but it stalls out. He'll have to settle this for three. Really well. A 51 yard really attempt well. is up. It is good. We got a one point ball game. I wanted it. I wanted a PD, man. Joke, great timing right there. When he, when he knows how to dial up the blitz, he does just that. Oh, Comes man. up with a big sack. Able to hold Pavin to three, but you know, Joke's got to kind of get points on the board because though, losing those timeouts, if he has to punt again, Pavin only needs a field goal. He can, he can basically use all the clock and, and kick that game in a field goal. So this is a big drive for Joke. Ty, I gotta say, one of my favorite things about the live events, you know, in these little breaks we've had, I've been able to go on Twitch and check out the watch parties and seeing guys like Dubby and Problem and K Mac. I was hanging out in BG Fam's watch party, talking with the guys as they were, you know, doing a little bit of armchair quarterbacking at home. So, big shout out to everybody in the Twitch chat and all you guys hosting those watch parties and supporting competitive Madden. We wouldn't be here without you. First and 10, Gale Sayers, more of the same. Look at that. I'm doing my math there. Yep, my high school math says that's two yards of carry. <laughs> yeah, Pavin's run defense has looked a lot better here. Uh, you know, he looks good all game, but really, really dialed in right now. Second and eight. Let's look for a halfback dive again with Gale Sayers. Come on, Warner. Oh, he gets outside. On, Can he man. find some room? He finally will okay. get to the 40-yard line. Give him 10 on that carry. That's how locked down it's been. The 10-yard carry felt like a 70-yarder. Man, Pavin was there for it, but Gale Sayers just way too fast. Able to get to the outside, fall forward for a big first down. We're headed to the fourth quarter. This game far from over with major implications here in group play. Joke with a win would get to 3-0 and seal the bye. Pavin with the win, and we may have pure chaos. How about this? 7-6, a one-point game. Heading to the fourth quarter, Joke with the ball. And it's been Pavin's defense that's been able to lock down Joke early in this game. It's time, folks. Let's head to the fourth quarter. Presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, no. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. Well, let's get back to it. Five minutes remain in this one. Joke with the slim lead, and he's got the ball, and it's the Gale Sayers show trying to get going. Hasn't been easy against this Pavin defense. It's crazy, Ty, as, as I've been thinking back in this game. It doesn't feel like Joke's winning, but I look at the scoreboard, and he's got a one-point lead. <laughs> Sometimes it seems that's how jokes all his games go. You know, he just kind of stays in the game, plays great defense, does just enough on offense to get by. He's doing just that right here. He's going to use some of this clock now, try to pick up a couple first downs. If I get a hit stick off right there, that might be a fumble. He's begging for that hit stick. Uh, Pavin down by one, has a third and six defensively upcoming. I'm going to make sure he shouted out all his fans and supporters at home, his social media manager, Sahil. And, you know, he's been grinding on that that Twitch grind and YouTube grind, putting out content. So we want to make sure to let everyone know, hey, hit the follow button. Make sure you follow all these 16 guys on their socials. As no, Sayers gets outside on third and more. six, trying to find some room. And Eric, how about the ta tackle from Justin Reed wrapping up Gale Sayers? Big 
defense from the belt winner. And here we go. He's going to give himself a chance. Joke has to punt. Pavin coming out in that quarter three deep, being very safe, aware of that fullback run. And now Pavin's going to get a chance on to go on a money drive. Mm -hmm. got me. Oh. Well, and here we go. It's a great punt to the three-yard line. Tywee Andy asked Pavin what is his key to success. He said staying cool, calm, and collected and not getting afraid when you're in an uncomfortable position. Try to make yourself as easy as you can be. And he says the music in his ears and the gum in his mouth, those are the two things that keep him even keel. Well, you want to talk about an uncomfortable position. How about on the three-yard line? He's going to try to take off with Vic, and he's going to be oh. down at the two-yard line, a little more uncomfortable offensively. Yeah, he's going to have to stay really calm here if he wants to go on a money drive. Difficult situation on the two-yard line. You're kind of backed up. You, 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 In an ideal world, you want to run the ball here, but he didn't bring a running back. He only has an 11 cap, Jalen Samuels. He's going to be forced to pass. It's going to be very scary. And yeah, he, uh, Joe knew oh, that. He man. brought the screamers. He quickly finds Winslow, and guess what? He picks up nothing. Third and 11. Can Joke's defense stand tall and possibly put points on the board? What will Pavin do offensively as he is facing, he's in the shadow of his own end zone. The goal posts are right on his, on the numbers on his back. Motioning Ross right to left back, into the bunch. Cribs alone on the right side. 2.17 and counting. Pressure off the edge, down goes Vic and Joke gets a safety. And that is exactly what the number one seed needed to get a little emotion in his game. What a dagger right there, and that's what the best defensive player does, and he does it in a critical moment, gets a big safety, and is going to get the ball with almost two minutes to go. Wow, what a stand by Joke. It is ironic they call it a safety because Michael Vick was anything but safe. And how big are those two points? It's now a full field goal lead, and with that kick out of bounds, great field position for Joke as we'll hit the two-minute warning. Yeah, a costly mistake by Pavin right there. Something you cannot afford to do. And now if Pavin goes on to lose this game, interesting to see what's going on in the other game because now, you know, if Bugs can win, all guys can be one and two. It's going to get interesting here as we get to the down to the wire. First down. Let's go. Let's Sayers go, picks up Sayers. the first down, and Pavin will have to use one of his timeouts. First down, though, that's big. It starts using those timeouts, Ty, but... The bigger thing is he's in field goal range, so even with the stop, he's going to use a lot of clock and be up by six. Yeah, use a lot of clock, make it a touchdown game. You saw Joke go on conservative here. He does not want any fumble, any chance of a fumble. He's just going to run the ball three times and take his field goal. Nine to six here. Final game of Group A. Four straight days of group play, so... Make sure y'all come on back over the next three days as up the middle goes Sayers. And it's crazy to think, Ty, and again, it's, it's before our time, but maybe we can ask Boogs or uh, one great user. I mean, talk about a running back in Gale Sayers, his career cut short by injury. I mean, he, he tried to come back in 1972. I read this story. He tried to come back in 72 in the preseason. He got to play in the first preseason we game with the Bears. He fumbled twice in his Unless first three carries and went, I'm hanging him up. <laughs> wow, I did not know that. <laughs> and and there we see Pavin gets the big stop he wanted, and Jokes looks like he's going to go for it. He wants to end this thing right here. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Can Pavin's defense stand tall one more time and give him a chance? Clock running down. See if Joke even snaps the ball. as He's going to motion Thomas back to the right side. I wonder if he... It's just going to run this down and maybe take a delay a game. He'll take a timeout. So there are no timeouts left. There's no more stopping the clock. And Joke going to kick the field goal. Ty, I got, I got really, I was, I was really pumped there to see an aggressive play from Joke. Yeah, I mean, he took the conservative approach. I don't know about it. Sometimes, you know, you got to let him hang. You got to, you got to take the chance right there. I don't know about it, but Joke. And always confident in his defense, like we said. One of the best defensive players in the world. And that's what it's going to come down to. He's going to put the ball. What a way to end the game. We're going to have Pavin, who, who's known for his offense. Joke, who's known for his defense. Here we go for these guys. You want to be the main event. You want to be the guy. You want to be known as the best in the world. Boys, the floor is yours. I can't wait to see the money drive. Here we go.
Shout out to our guy, RG at home, who'd be yelling about it. It's the Guap Drive, boys and girls. No timeouts. We got a minute on the clock. Vic outside the pocket. On, Looking over the middle of the field. On, pressure on. inaccurate. He had the post route, but it falls to the ground. Yeah, a little risky right there, trying to go to the post. Uh, joke all over it. Back in the bunch, going to flip it here. Look for that same route combo. He loves that uh, solo side post, the little corner route on the bunch side. Vic outside the pocket. How about the playmaker there from Torrey Holt? Shook off the defender, and Pobbins inside of midfield. Clock running. The runoff will apply. 12 seconds down. Now 33 on the clock. Nice throw from Pobbins, and a better playmaker from Torrey Holt, the former NC State Wolfpack. I'm on the edge of my seat. Here we go. He's going to have to get out of bounds. If he doesn't, he's only going to have about two plays. He's going to have to, if he stays in bounds, he's going to have to spike it real quick. He'll have about one or two plays after that. But he's got to get something down the field. He's got to get something deep. Saying he glitched him. Can he get something you down the field? There's nothing that, there. That, that post. Oh, man, I forgot. You can hear Pavin begging point. for it. Yeah, Pavin wants that deep post on the solo side. Joke notices that. He's trying to bring the zones down on that bunch side to go to the post. He's doing the same exact thing again. Here you go, Cribs in motion. Only a three-man rush. On, he throws that post route. Oh, oh Ross God. catches it in front of Mays. He could have had a pick, but instead, John Ross with an absolute robbery. 11 seconds left, and Pavin only has 22 yards to a tie ball game. Joe <laughs> thought he could have clicked on and picked that, and here we go. 11 seconds is the kid clutch. Can Pavin cook one up? He needs 22 yards for glory. Can he, he do it? He ran commit. He brought the He ran commit and John Ross is in the end zone. Oh, he brought 10 guys into the backfield. And John Ross has the easiest touchdown of his career. This extra point. It's up. It's good. TD, we have mayhem in group A. Oh my God, in all my years of competitive man, I've really never seen anything like it. Oh On the God. biggest play of the game, Joke ran commit. Not, it was a complete accident. Pavin took advantage, and he's going to possibly win the game on that. Oh my God, this is incredible. I know this is going to make some people happy at least. The run commit heard around the Madden world. Joke with the accidental run commit, and Pavin takes advantage. 13 to 12 with the lead. Does Joke have a miracle in him? Sayers with a spin move. Zeros on the clock. 